Hey, so user interface elements part one. Since we've already talked about design, now it's time that we see the elements that we are using in our website and our web design. This lecture comprises of the basic elements and the basic sort of things that will come into your design when you're designing an interface for a website. So interface elements include, but are not limited to, the following four main categories. In this part one lecture, we will cover the top both, and in the next lecture, the part two, we'll cover the rest. So input controls are, as the word is, a form of the user interface, the parts of the user interface, where we enter the data or select some sort of data and tell the website what we are wanting. Navigation is moving from one page to the other or one component to the other inside the website. Information components can be seen as an output since they are telling us, the user, some sort of information about the website. And containers, as the word suggests, are the boxes or the places, the components that contain some sort of solid information displayed as a content on your website. So I found this really great website, which was telling me all about the components that I need to know. And I felt like I have to share this since it is basically all the kinds of controls that you'll be needing to know. So I cite the website and the web page at the end, but here I really need you to, to concentrate on these components so you can understand what you'll actually be needing in your user interface. Input controls. So we have checkboxes. Here we select some sort of fields and all those things that are relevant to us or that we want to see, like categories. Radio buttons basically are selecting only one of the following options. Drop down menus or lists help us choose or select one of the options, just like a country in a form. Drop-down menus are different than list boxes because in list boxes, we can select multiple options. Buttons, well, we've all seen buttons. There are like submit buttons and from going to another page or like here we have a social media button. And these buttons are like the essence and the main thing of your user interface. And you wouldn't see any website without buttons. A drop-down button, as we were seeing list boxes and drop-down menu, it's not like that. A drop-down button is specifically a button which has further categories and options or a menu under Toggles are usually two, three options or more, usually two or three, which we switch between to select what we want. Text fields include some sort of writing or input that the user basically has to type. It's not about selecting. Date and time pickers usually come in forms mostly, but they're very accurate and you can use a lot of styles for the user to make it look better in your design so the user can select the accurate date. Then navigational components, as I said, it's about moving from one component to the other or one field to another. Here we have a search field uh, in many websites. Now they have a search field for you to easily navigate and move to their website. Breadcrumbs, uh, I think this text is very small, but if you're selecting one article on a website and then you move on some other category from that article, then you'll see that they would have the whole passage, the whole uh, path that you've covered so far in moving from that article, from that page to another component. You must have seen pagination and shopping websites or in images where you have to move from one page to another and they have this whole line at the bottom from you where you can directly jump to one page of your requirement. We have tags. If you go to some sort of article website or writing website, you'd see, um, or maybe you're searching for some scholarship, then you'd have tags where you can select what kind of thing you specifically want to see. Sliders basically can be used for selecting a range of some item, just like we can select the volume by using a slider or the brightness or some other sort of um, maybe margins on the website. Icons make it very easy 
to navigate to the website where you can tell by the graphic representation where exactly do you want to go. You would see this on mostly all the sites these days. It's getting very common. Uh, so there is a set of images or posts from that website and you can move through them using a 